so far I have uh, worked out a uh, value of the Greeks, so black shoulder Greeks using uh, delta gamma theta rho. And I've done it in VBA, so we might just have a look at the last file where we set up the, well, theta and offered some interpretation theta. And I'll just download the file. But principally, what I'm interested in is the VBA uh, code and the actual valuations for delta gamma, theta, theta, and rho. And then comparing that with an implementation of Greeks in C++, and I'm going to use Visual Studio Express uh, 2015. So if I go to the first tab, first worksheet, um, I have these uh, variables, uh, and we might just pay attention to the value. If we have these parameter inputs for the call and the put, these are the values for the call option and the put option, and then the respective delta gamma, vega, theta, and rho for the call and the put. So let's keep that in mind. These are particular values we're interested in. And um, first of all, we might just open up. So uh, Visual Studio Express 2015, and that might take a while, although quite, in this case quite fast and we'll click on the option to start a new project and we'll go win32 uh, win32 console application and i'll say black shoals greeks and i enter and then next and then i on tick uh, those two boxes and click empty project and I finish and while the project is being set up um, we might have a look at where we'll find some code so we could go to a good source of um, code for VBA and C++ and Python is Velopta and that's hosted by um, Fabrice Rua. So we'll go to C++ and we'll come down to quite close to the top here um, for C++. We have Black Shoals, Price and Greeks. And let's copy that code. And copy. And we'll go back into our project, Visual Studio. And we've set up the new project and it has a name, uh, Black Shoals Greeks. But it's just no code here, so how do we put in the code? Well, you go to the source file in the Solution Explorer and you right click and just say Add and then New Item. And you want a C++ file. And again, I'm going to call that just for convenience. Uh, Black Shoals Greeks. And now we have a, where we can edit our input and code. So we'll just paste into the C++, C++ file. And the code is being read by the uh, compiler and it doesn't like this so we might just get rid of that and it doesn't like because of the red it's uh, probably indicating issues and using namespace standard so that might go out and include so are these fine okay doesn't seem to create too many difficulties otherwise. Um, okay, now, just reading the code, uh, when we, if we go into the VBA function here um, in Excel, 
uh, when we implemented VBA code, uh, when we tried to get the normal cumulative probability of, vi of a variable, we just called up the norms this function, which is available. It's pre-written into Excel, so it was just application dot norms this, but that's a function that exists in Excel. Uh, C plus uh, plus, we actually have to write the function so to get to estimate the normal cumulative probability we use Boole's rule and we return um, the value of so if we want to get the norms the norms this equivalent we have written this function which is calling up a uh, bool which in turn uh, is calling up um, this function here, the phi or pi uh, uh, function. So um, norms test, if you like, means we wouldn't have had to uh, written this. So in some respects, VBA uh, has some advantages here. Um, particularly when the code is not computationally intensive. Otherwise, the code, the calling up the, the value of the option looks kind of familiar, familiar similar to VBA. Uh, we have D1, and then we have SND1 minus, and then D minus sigma square root of T. Well, D1 minus sigma square root of T is D2. So although we don't declare a D2 here, uh, this fun this combined term is equivalent to D2. And uh, it's either a call, if the option type is C, we get a call, but otherwise we get a put. And this call here, sorry, this what's returned otherwise is the put, and this comes from put call parity. So a put is equivalent from put call parity we know that the value of a put is equal to the value of a call minus s plus the exercise e negative rt dex where exp is the exponential and then we have delta and we have gamma and we have vega and rho and theta in each case there's an else and the else is for the put now what we don't have and would be an interesting exercise is we don't have um, an entry here for different yield. Okay, so when we make the comparison with um, the VBA code, we should set the dividend yield and the VBA code equal to zero. So what I'd like to do is to verify that the code works and we get the same results. Uh, first of all, just run the code. And that takes a second, but it'll start it. Doesn't seem to be any major issues. And we get the debug window and we get output and then it disappears. So typically, if that's the case, it's sufficient to add in just before the curly brackets. Um, system and this is just the uh, code that works in Microsoft system open brackets pause and capital pause okay and we'll run that again do us build errors let's see And the build error is I somehow got rid of the semicolon. So we'll put that back in and we'll run again. So we'll see if we can bring up the debug window.
and it doesn't appear but there is another issue outstanding and it's because I forgot a semi colon again so run that again so come up to debug and run and one of the thing you'll, one of the things noticeable about uh, C++ is that it tends to be very sensitive to uh, typing so these are the set of values okay we'll accept that as given um, now to verify against uh, uh, the code the parameter inputs we used previously let's open up Excel and see if we can remember from okay let's go here one and so 100 100 time period one risk rate five percent and the sigma is 0 0.2 so let's use those values and compare against the values we have here so we have 100 100 and we'll put in for one year and the interest rate is five percent and dividend is equal to uh, zero and sigma is equal to 20 percent and the code executes the debug window opens up and this is black Scholes price but i've used okay actually the values here are for the put and just check against the yes five seven five so if we if we just minimize this window and make the comparison okay so this is for the put the value to delta negative 3 the value uh, negative 0 0.36 the value of gamma 0 0.18762 the value of vega 37 the value of uh, now theta negative 1.65 and the value of rho negative 41.89 so that's the same and then let's check for let's go back and re one re have a look at the code again and estimate the code for estimate estimate the code for the call so we changed the designation here to being C. Option type, it's recognized. We'll run the code. So, okay, let's run. See what we get. And then bring up Excel. And for the call option, again, it's 1045. It's a familiar value. For the delta, 0 0.63. For gamma, 0 0.18762. For vega, same as before. Theta, negative 6.41. And rho was 53. So we verified that the code works. It's consistent with the VBA, which previously we had verified as being correct. And the C++ code uh, also seems to work well. Okay, so I'll save these files to the OneDrive where they can be accessed. I'll save the code and I'll save the project solution.